Hi, this is Pooja from Tech Expedia. We have with us today Kamal Tayara, who heads the AI vertical in Keystone Distribution. Hi, Kamal. Thanks for connecting, and it's a pleasure connecting with you. Hi, Pooja, and welcome to Keystone. And thank you for having me on the interview today. Thank you. Um, so let's talk about Keystone's AI AI vision. So, uh, what do you see as uh, areas of uh, Keystone's uh, AI vision and capabilities, and what are the core pillars in this vertical? In terms of, of vision, uh, Keystone has been a successful distributor for over 20 years, right? Time being, uh, we lived uh, at the heart of, I would call it, the AI revolution here in the GCC. Uh, and seeing that a lot of the AI activity is taking place here. Uh, and for us to build a sustainable long-term business, the need to move uh, into AI was uh, no longer an if, it was when, right? And that's why we decided to embark on uh, on that, you know, on creating that AI vertical and, and meeting the various uh, AI, I would say, uh, value chain uh, uh, demand in the ecosystem over here, right? Uh, the, the vision is really to be <coughs> working with our vendors to create ecosystem for them and to work with our, you know, clients and to help them develop the best suited AI solution for them, right? Um, when you look at the AI, uh, you know, value chain, uh, you can look at it and dissect it from different ways. You can look at it from a layering perspective. You have the compute layer, you have the data layer, you have the operation layers, and then you have, of course, the enterprise enablement layer. In the world of AI, as we speak today, uh, the, the, the whole shift has, is happening from the models who have been proven to now investing in the AI infrastructure which really positioned us in a, you know, put Keystone in a very strong position because really the focus is on building now the infrastructure and the, the different layers of, of, of the, the, the AI, uh, I would say, uh, value stack, right? So uh, uh, what we're trying is really uh, uh, working on bringing the best solution that meets the edge, that meets the needs of the enterprises, and at the same time, tackling few uh, strategic, I would say, requirements with hyperscalers uh, through uh, meeting some of the bottlenecks that hyperscalers face, like uh, cooling, like power, etc., and and working with, with our uh, partners there. Thank you. That was insightful, and you spoke about the bottlenecks as well. So mm. I would like to know about AI adoption as well. So what are the key bottlenecks that you feel? Uh, is yeah, AI so adoption. The, the bottlenecks are, are are clear, and we're trying to work around them with our you know, vendors and with our clients, right? Uh, so with the, with the with the market itself uh, here, uh, a one of the major bottlenecks is availability of data or enterprises' willingness to open up their mm -hmm. data, right, and discuss their data. The second, I would say, bottleneck is generally speaking the cost of AI and the power you need for the AI and the availability also of compute power, right? So it's, it's coming in bits and pieces, right? Uh, so, so all of these create bottlenecks. In addition to this, one of the major bottlenecks is really availability of human, I would say, uh, skills and, and, and AI engineers, because as a distributor, uh, we are also ourselves transforming the, the know-how and the knowledge from being just a box mover to building more uh, integration capabilities, building more engineering capabilities, because you really need to be able to work with the client and customize the best solution for their AI need, right? Starting from you know, helping them to basically clean up their data, train their data, create their, uh, create their, uh, their own, you know, Gen AI, etc. Right? We don't want our clients to just use ChatGPT and send all their information to the to the cloud, right? So that was insightful. Uh, what are the technology trends that you feel is the most critical? Because we spoke about edge cooling. Hmm. What we're seeing today is, as I said, is a move from the proven models to the infrastructure. So the trend is really trying to build more and more infrastructure, right? And we're ready for that as a ski stone, right? It's an AI infrastructure led kind of uh, vision. Uh, and that starts from the compute, as I said, and the storage then the networking, right? Of course, surrounded by the power, the cooling, and and coupled with, because you really, when you go to a client, you need to also have a, a software stack on top. You need to have a solution. You need to help them do his own data monitoring. You have to have him clean up the data. So 
So the, 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 you know, the trend in, in a way is really now infrastructure focused, right? And, and, and that both on the hyperscale side and on the edge side, right? And, and, and being able to find the right compute power for the clients and the right solution is also important. Yes. Uh, talking about the distribution model that we moved away from uh, traditional tradi distribution mm -hmm. model, uh, what do you see uh, distributors as a to be competitive in this, you know, evolving landscape? Uh, we're starting to see demand from uh, the healthcare space, diagnostics. We have also interesting demand coming from financial institutions, and we also definitely seeing a very positive trend when it comes to governments who are really taking the lead here. Uh, inspired by what's happening in the GCC, in the overall, I would say, you know, uh, AI uh, embodiment or adoption that we're seeing. Look, as a distributor to be competitive in the landscape, you really have to understand the requirements of the clients, work with them and develop something because a lot of the clients now do not know what do they need Definitely. and where to start and how to start, right? And, and of course, there's a huge cost component at, in some cases, and this could potentially disruption, etc. So you really need to work with them and uh, providing them proof of concepts at the onset right. and build the confidence slowly but surely, right? Yeah. With the vendors, we also are dealing with some mature uh, vendors who have been in the business for years, but also we're dealing with vendors because of the AI revolution who has been recently on the market mm. with great products, right? with solutions for the edge, with solutions for hyperscale. Yeah. But you also need to work with these guys and act as an actual real partner to develop an ecosystem here. And that's what we've been doing very recently with many of our vendors, mm -hmm. where we're doing enablement sessions, inviting them, inviting some of our channel partners, our, our clients, etc., and educating them about these uh, you know, solutions. As you know now, I wear you know, two hats. So one of my hats is also the CEO of Mesh Digital, right? right? parent company of Keystone AI and, and my focus has really been on building the overall uh, AI business for Majd and Keystone, right? And within that, uh, what we've been doing is really building, I would say, kind of three major pillars. The first pillar, which now is very clear, is really the, the pillar related to vendors of infrastructure and, and various parts of the infrastructure of the AI value chain. The second pillar is we're starting now uh, a major, uh, and we'll announce it soon, we've uh, struck a very uh, interesting deal representing one of the most prominent names in digital transformation and AI and project management. We're bringing and working with them here in the market, and they're coming and bringing their know-how to drive digital transformation to enterprises, to government, to, to, to various sector so taking a certain segment and transforming it to become you know ai uh, tested and proven and the third vertical that we're also focused on is the is the operation vertical and uh, we're in the process of signing up also uh, an important vendor in the space to help uh, folks in their ml ops requirements and the data monitoring the consumption monitoring etc so we're trying to build these three kind of uh, vertical um, so for yeah, just to kind of uh, conclude, we're, we're uh, trying to be a one-stop shop for, you know, AI requirement, be it infrastructure, being a software stack, being, you know, data monitoring operation, be also a full transformation kind of project. And, and I don't know if we touched on this before, but again, uh, we're seeing demand now surfacing from, you know, uh, universities, from education institutes, and I would like to thank you for taking the time uh, to interview uh, me. And uh, hopefully this is just the beginning and we'll have uh, no more sessions together. Absolutely. It was a great pleasure having thank you, you. Kamil. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to TechX Media for more updates from the technology industry.